in this okay in this video I'm going to explain some of the blending options available in Photoshop and their settings and uh, whatnot. So start off by downloading the texture that is linked to in the about this video section to the right hand side of the video. W once you've saved it to your hard drive, open it up in Photoshop. Start off by then uh, view extras and if the grid does not show up, view show grid. Also have snap on and snap to all the ones that you can possibly select, apart from none obviously. Set up the grid the way I've got it, which which you will need for this tutorial will be you have to go to edit, preferences, guides, grid and slices. Colour custom, I chose bright red because it stands out. Um, it doesn't blend into the background of any textures because I don't tend to create bright red textures. So grid line, every 128 pixels with four subdivisions. Okay. Then with the poly polygonal lasso tool, select a square around the edge of the image, one grid square in. Lay new yeah, layer. Okay. Then select inverse. Now holding down shift, select another square, one grid square in from the previous square, and then select inverse. And then fill it with whatever colour you have. For some reason I have bright pink, uh, don't ask me why, but I just do. And select it, and turn off the grid. Put the fill down to 0% and then right click with blending options. Select Bevel on a boss, make sure it's ticked, and um, we're going to go through some of these options. Style Out I'm going to start with Outer Bevel, uh, it bevels on the outside of the shape. So, like, it, the effect goes away from the, um, the shape. And if you see, if I turn on the grid, it's on the outside of the grid lines. The uh, bevel thing is on the outside. If I change it to inner bevel, you can see it's on the inside of the grid lines this time and the bevel effect goes inwards. Now I find if you if you're on um, in a bevel you make it meet in the middle it gives a rounded effect. It it worked better if the edges were rounded off and stuff but I think it gives a nice I think it gives a nice um, pipe effect to it. Now for the emboss, uh, not that different really, it's just like, like a combination of both, if I turn the grid off, it's just a combination of both inner and outer. Pillow emboss is like really good for grooves, as it, uh, embosses the edges and stroke emboss I have no idea what what it does because I've never used it before so I can't really say anything about that let me go with outer bevel and as you can see there is white coming up from that side and that shows that a light source has come from that way now if we put that into game 
and we wanted the light to come from that direction. It look a bit stupid. So we're going to change that highlight mode to the right and uh, multiply. And then not using global light because gl global light affects every layer style on every layer which uses uh, light and we don't want that because it can get very annoying. Size, it's self-explanatory. Depth, um, it adds depth to what else do they do? Soften, softens up down the edges. In this, it just shows that it's uh, reducing the opacity of it. But if you change the other settings, it does actually look like it's being softened. Um, you can like change the opacity to get different effects and whatnot. I've got about there. Just think that'll do for, for that one. Now I'm going to go on to Outer Glow. For some strange reason, they picked the default colour as this disgusting yellow colour. We don't want that, we want it as black. And change that to Multiply. And then give it quite a bit of noise. Change the opacity, which, well, makes it transparent, obviously, to about there, 30. And then noise, obviously, adds noise. Spread. I don't know how to put this, but I would say it makes it the glow harder. Um, I don't know how the correct terms, but I put it as harder. You know, size, self-explanatory again, and then you get range, jitter. Now for uh, gradient. Now I'm going to try some of these overlays. Pattern. Uh, most of the default patterns don't particularly work very well, but I'm going to use this rust pattern that I have made from quite a while ago. There's several different ones, other ways you can choose from all these different ones. I normally go with overlay, and you can create scale that scales the image up and down. Uh, the lower the scale, the more detail. Uh, the higher, the less detail. Uh, that's that. Uh, the gradient overlay. I don't particularly use this a lot. That to overlay as normal. Uh, and then, yeah, change the opacity down quite a bit. There's several different styles uh, I usually go with reflected and then you can change all that to scale and whatnot. Uh last one I'm gonna no one before last I'm gonna show you is the inner glow. Same as last time, disgusting yellow, change it to black. Uh reduce the uh, create the size. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to put that to multiply. Size back down. Now on this one, there's a center option, which I like to use quite a lot. Add noise, reduce opacity. There we go. Last one, drop shadow. Uh, you can size distance yeah again don't use the global light and you can change it around it's pretty self explanatory there you go <laughs> quite simple uh, that's basically it for now I'll see you next video